All right. Hello, Kanbei. So good evening, good evening, everyone. And I would like to start the stream by saying, "Hello, everyone. How are you? Fine, thank you." Oh my God! I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, you know, um, Nobunaga's voice actor is uh, Wakaba Donoyo, and one of his famous role was the cat in. Azumanga Dayo and his famous line in that anime was Haro Evrinyan. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Fine, thank you. Then Osaka answered with, Oh my god! Uh, I wish I were a bird. <laughs> it's just, it's just hilarious, alright? So yeah, um, like I said, I... Uh, sorry, I still have a runny nose. Um, I am going to, uh, do the Basar 1 characters first, and we're gonna break down every single one of them before we start uh, finishing their story campaign. So, yeah. Third character in Basar 1 is Oda Nobunaga, the Demon King himself, and he was the quote unquote mascot of the failed attempt to. Uh, to release Sengoku Basa in the West, aka Devil Kings. Yeah, this is Devil King. You know, I I, 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 I read the uh, interview with, what's his name, uh, Kobayashi, on why Basar was localized into Devil Kings for the first game, and I still don't, I still don't understand how they thought it was a good idea to, yeah, I know, it's a stupid name, I still don't understand how that, uh, they thought it was a good idea to localize Devil Kings how, the way it did, you know? And if anything, I feel like one of the reasons why Basara kind of, fu uh, like Capcom kind of fucked up Basara for the West was because of Devil Kings. The anime, however, the anime and the anime actually did a good job to uh, did a good job in localization in the West. So a lot of people who are a lot of people in the West know Basara from the anime. They thought Sengoku Basara was an anime. Well, in fact, it was an anime based on the video game. But you know what? It is what it is. And not to mention, because not a lot of people, especially the Muso community, know about Basa and how deep the combat is in this game. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Kako made a lot of mistakes with Sego Basara. Yeah, more or less. But you know what? That's why I'm here. <laughs> okay, so uh, I want to make sure there's no audio delay. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Alright. I just love how uh in his preparation, you know, screen the sky is just dark red for Nobunaga. A uh, three-way battle between the Sanada and the E. Or the Takeda and the E. Yeah, animal fight. Hooray. <laughs> okay. So we have uh, Inoya Castle. I, I, I... Is this Inoue Castle? I forgot. Or Kai Province. Uh, Three-way battle. Masamune, Kobayakawa, uh, Sawayama Castle, and uh, Mogamigawa and Komakinaga Kute. Um, where do we start? Um, yeah, let's start with uh, Kai Province. <coughs> so, as you guys can see, I have all the weapons for Nobunaga. I used his third weapon as his uh, ultimate weapon. Uh, this is his joke weapon. <laughs> it's a... Uh... I don't know what you call that, uh, you know, those voice enhancers, paper voice and a water gun. I'm going to use, to start, 
Again, I'm going to use his uh, base weapon first. And his partner will be Katsuye. That's uh, Shibata Katsuye. People call him, oh, Katsuye is a fan. Uh, Katsuye is a fanboy. Dude, don't underestimate my boy like that. All right? Don't underestimate my boy. Okay. So I want to go over the costumes first. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> fear me. This is Nobunaga's base outfit. Yeah. So you can see he has a gun and a shotgun. Now, the sh yeah, the sort of shotgun. Yep, the Devil King. The, the shotgun, as far as I'm concerned, was taken straight out of DMC1. Uh, his shotgun, I know it's a shotgun move. Like he just goes, you know, desperado and shoot that damn thing. But the animation and the sound effect, I feel like they were taken straight out of DMC1. So yeah, this is um, Nobunaga. Nobunaga's base for uh, like base outfit. Now, every time I look at Nobunaga in uh, every time I look at Nobunaga in Sengoku Basa, and also Hello Something, every time I see Nobunaga in Sengoku Basa, I always had this feeling that um, he could easily fit in Devil May Cry as a boss. Like this this guy with this design screams Devil May Cry boss. Now his uh, second outfit, yeah, his Serpent King. Yeah, he he has a like a a fish scale armor, which is cool. This, this armor kind of, uh, like, it feels like, it feels very Monster Hunter. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this design kind of feels very Monster Hunter. But it looks cool. Yeah, Nobunaga the Serpent King. Hello, random black guy. And his third outfit. Yeah, the Angel. <laughs> the Angel King. Now, this outfit screams DMC4. Like, you cannot convince me... When Capcom designed this outfit, they were not inspired by DMC4. This is pretty much if Nobunaga was a DMC4 boss. Like th th this just this just screams Angelo. Like the the those angels, uh, those angel knights in DMC4. Okay, so for yeah, the the one takeaway I have with this game is that I I wish I wish every character has a DLC outfit. You know. Uh, I'm gonna give props to Koei with Dynasty Warriors 8, Dynasty Warriors 7, and Warriors Archie 3. Or at least Dynasty Warriors 7 and Dynasty Warriors 8. Every character in that game has a DLC outfit. Nobunaga kun pronounced in menacing. Nobunaga. Nobunaga kun. Uh, yeah, hello, bro. I actually, like, I don't think this outfit is ugly. Honestly. Uh, sorry. I don't think this outfit is ugly at all. I actually like this outfit. Again, this is Nobunaga if he was a DMC4 boss. You may not like it, but I actually kind of like this outfit. I, I, I genuinely like this outfit. The headpiece, it fits, you know? It fits as a DMC... Yeah, exactly. DMC4 style outfit. This is Nobunaga if he was a DMC4 boss. Now, for Katsuye... His base outfit... <sighs> His uh, second outfit, which I like. Yeah, his DLC outfit, which is basically his base outfit, but with Nagamasa colors. Um, his DLC, uh, not DLC, this is his third outfit. And his DLC outfit, which is a Monster Hunter outfit. Like, you put this outfit with this Nobunaga, boom. Match made in heaven. You see? Like I said, this uh, serpent outfit... Looks like he's a character straight out of Monster Hunter. Okay, so just I the wings on the head doesn't suit me. Again, uh, it is what it is, but I genuinely like that outfit. Now, for start, we are going to I uh, uh, know we are going to use their base outfits. Uh, yesterday, someone called Katsuya Femboy, and I said, "Dude, don't disrespect my boy like that." Okay. A lot of people, when they saw Katsuye and Kenshin, they were like, Oh, why do they look like femboys, huh? Why do they look feminine? Okay, where's the manly man Katsuye and Kenshin from Summer Wars? Bro, bro, don't, bro, don't, don't, don't disrespect my boys like that, alright? Okay. If Single Master comes back, they should add guest characters? Absolutely. I would love to see DLC guest characters in Seiwa Asara. I mean, props to Koei for bringing Ryu Haibusa in, uh... Characters like Ryo Habusa, Ayane, Sofitia, or Sturkenberg to Wars Orgy. Again, I am praising Koei for doing that in Wars Orgy 3. 
Okay, uh, so we're done. Now let's go to the battle itself. As you guys uh, know the drill, I'm going to break down the character. Just to make sure, guys, there's no audio delay, right? I, I checked the audio for a while, and there's no delay. Hopefully it stays that way. Nobunaga just walks menacingly. Okay. Uh, I'll wait until the uh, dialogue ends. And pardon my voice as well. Still recovering from a cold. Oh, uh, one thing I would love. Okay, one thing uh, I. You know? One thing I would take away. I'd take away from this game is that I would have wanted to see more Oda characters. So you only have. Technically, you only have three Oda characters. Nobunaga, Katsuye, and Mitsuhide. I kind of wish Nohime and Ranmaru was in this game. And I want to see how they would get revamped. Now, okay, before I continue. Now, some people say, oh, why do, would you want Nohime to be in the game? You already have Maguichi, who is the gunslinger. I mean, Nohime and Maguichi plays differently. Nohime's gun style was based off Dante's Ebony and Ivory, while Maguichi's gun style was based off Nero's Blue Rose. And it's like, you also have two, you know, katana users, uh, the quick draw users, like Kenshin and Mitsunai. They're basically both Virgil like characters, so to speak, right? Characters, why not have two gunslinger characters with different styles? That's just me. And then again, oh, why do you want Ranmaru? You have Tsunhime as, uh, as the archer. I mean, again, you can have two archers, but completely different movesets. Alright, so, um, you, uh, every character has a normal attack and have nine different special attacks. Now, let's go over his normal attacks. Six, seven, eight. There was no shoot, okay? One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, what? I accidentally... There you go. Okay, that's a normal attack. Ah, come on, internet. Don't do this to me. Uh, it's not lagging on your end, right, guys? Or any... No audio delays, right? Okay. So let's go over his first special attack, the triangle. This is his triangle. Uppercut, basically. It's an uppercut using the uh, shotgun. And unfortunately for Nobunaga, he has no extension. It's just triangle. So let me do this again. But you can use that as a combo ender with a normal attack. So... Let's say you use a normal attack, and then triangle. See? So, it's an uppercut. It's a shotgun uppercut, but it's used for a... Uh, for a uh, combo ender. Way faster than the boss or three moveset? Yeah. And there are some uh, differences as well. Okay, so jump normal. Okay, that's his jump normal, and his jump charge. X triangle. Alright, now let's go to his second special attack. The front triangle. There. Now, the front triangle is basically just a... Uh, just a straight shot of his shotgun, like this. But you can, you can press triangle repeatedly to repeat those uh, shots, like this. Alright, let's uh, give a sideway view. This looks pretty badass, by the way. It looks pretty badass. Now, the uh, the shotgun uh, fire you can charge it, by the way. So, if you press front, uh, if you press front, uh, if you hold the triangle button while pressing forward on your analog stick, you get this. You see, I'm holding the triangle button. And he charged up his uh, shotgun like Mega Man. So, you release the shot by releasing the triangle button. Let's do that again. You charge the shot. Kaboom. Right? There you go. Now, you can combine normal attacks with the, uh, with the shotgun shot. With the shotgun fire. So, 
One, two, three. Goes to shotgun. Or, yeah, you can either do two things. You can either chain the normal attack with the shotgun, or the shotgun with the normal attack, like this. One, two, three. Fire, 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 and then back to a normal attack. Easy. Like, a lot of combos you can do in this game. Uh, combos in this game are limitless. Now, let's move to his third charge, uh, sorry, charge attacks. Third special attack, the home square. Hold on. Ah, sorry about that. Ah. The whole square. Ah. <laughs> sorry, my. Excuse me. The whole square. Now, his third special attack, his whole square special attack is rather unique. Why? Because it's an extension of his normal attacks. So if you. So, okay. If you tap square. You see, you see that? He moves his sword. But if you hold square. You see that? So he does the slash and then the uh and then the fight and he and then he fired his shotgun. Now again, hold square is an extension of his normal attack. So basically, since Nobunaga has eight chain of normal attack, so if you hold square eight times, like hold square, then hold square, and then hold square, every single normal attack move he does will end with a shotgun fire. So I'll demonstrate here. See? And again, you can uh, you can be creative with this. You don't need to have you don't need to hold every single uh, you don't need to hold square in every single move. You can just let's say you just want to have the you want to ha have the hold square in random. You can do that. I'll give an example. One, two, three. Hold. Continue. Oh, I, that that was terrible. Let's do let's do this again. One, two, three. Hold. Da, da, da. See, you can be creative with it. So, his third special attack is an extension of his normal attack. Now, let's move to the next special attack. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Alright. Uh, his R1. Let's go to his R1. Yeah, that's his R1. It's 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 like a tornado attack, right? Tor shit. Now, R1, you can extend that move. So, this is tapping R1. You can extend that move by holding the R1 button. And he does a launcher, like this. See? Now, you, when he's in the launcher mode, you can combo it with a normal attack or any attack, like this. One, sit. One, two, three. Uh, okay, let me try it again. So, you hold the R1 button. One, two. And then triangle. Now, his R1, you can do it in the air, but when you press R1 in the air, he does a completely different move. He does this. Yeah, he does the shotgun fire in the air. So if you're R1 in the ground, he does a tornado. If you hold R1, he extends his tornado move into the launcher. And if you're in the air, he does the shotgun fire. Right? Okay. So let's move to the block specials. Like I said, you have to, every character has two block specials: L1 triangle L, and L1 square. Let's try. Let's try L1 triangle for Nobunaga. L1 triangle. Okay. So what this does is I like to call this the Demon King mode. So he powers himself up. Okay, it's kind of like a Kaioken in Dragon Ball, and when he's in this mode. He has completely different moves. Oh, no, not really completely different moves, but his regular attacks and his base normal attacks are in different forms. So, I'll give an example here. Okay, his normal attacks are the same, but it does more damage. However, if you press... Sorry, if you hold square button, you know how... Okay, let me turn this off first. You know how hold square is an extension of his normal attack? So, he fires a shotgun. Now, if you are in the Demon King mode... He doesn't fire his shotgun. Instead, did you, you see that? He has some kind of like a JoJo stand with him. So one, you, you see, he has like a shadow figure with him. 
again, uh, it's a, like it's a different version of what he uh, of his special attacks. Now, his base triangle move is an uppercut shotgun, but when he's in this mode, you press triangle, it's a sweep. And if you hold the triangle button, again, he has a shadow following him as an extension of that move. Now, his front triangle in normal mode is a shotgun, right? A shotgun fire. But when you're in this mode, you see that? He fires like a shadowy uh, beam. Okay, there's no extension to this. This is just it. And unfortunately, you cannot do rapid attacks with this, unlike with the shotgun. Also, his R1 changes. This is R1. Well, slightly changes, so you can see that when you press the R1, there's a shadow following him. And when you hold the R1 button, it's the same. Now, his jump R1 is this. It's a different attack, so he's not firing his shotgun again. He's firing his demonic aura. Right? And not to mention, his guard changes. Look at that. He has a Jojo stand guarding for him. Uh, this is his Demon King mode. Now, let's turn off his Demon King mode. Right. Now, his second block special attack is L1 Square. That's his L1 Square. It's just a sweep with his cape. And if you go to Demon King mode, it does a little bit bigger damage. Or like, it has a bigger range. Slightly. Alright, now, we've done his base uh, special attacks. Let's go to his R2 attacks. As you can see, every character has three different R2s. Now let's do his first R2 attack. Yeah, that's his first R2 attack. It's a spike move. It's a ground spike move, which you can extend that by holding the R2 button. If you hold the R2 button... Yeah, you hold the R2 button to max. He does a triple attack. Okay, so let's do it one more time. You tap R2. You hold R2. Boom. Unfortunately, you cannot do this in the air. Now, let's move to his second R2 attack. His second R2 attack is a charge shot. It's kind of like the charge shotgun, you know, the Oda Buster earlier, but this one is a lot more powerful. So, let's press R2. See? That's when you tap R2. You can extend that move once again if you hold the R2 button. And you have, you see, you have that demon aura, or like demon stand next to him, so you charge it. You charge it, and you fire this, uh, this energy beam, or energy ball, by releasing the R2 button, like this. Okay, so that's his second R2. And unfortunately, you cannot do that in the air. Uh, one takeaway from Nobunaga is that most of his special attacks are not, uh, are not available in the air. Now, his final... R2 attack is him being a full-blown demon boss. Now, this is what I call the Demon King mode, L1 triangle. Now, his final form is the de the devil himself, and I have company wanting to start trouble with me. Okay, let's beat these guys. Stop interrupting my training session. Okay. Uh, let's do his third R2. Yeah, I, I took all this boss mode or demon boss mode. He has like a demon stand in front of him. And when he's in this move, uh, sorry, when he's in this mode, he has completely different moves. Now, he only has three moves in this mode. Uh, normal attack, first special, third special. So square, triangle, and R1. So he walks slower as well, you see? Slowly but menacingly, and he cannot block in this move. It's kind of like when Masamune is in his six sword stance. Now, 
This is his normal attack. Oops. Yeah, there's a time limit. Yeah. His big demon stand just swings at uh, his enemies. That's his uh, normal attack. Now, his first special with triangle. Yeah, he fires like a shotgun. Like demon ball shotgun. Oops. Let's do that again. And his R1. Just a pure menace. I love the fact that Capcom treated Nobunaga uh, like he's his nickname is the Demon King. So they went all out. All right, let's just make him an absolute Demon King. Which version of Nobunaga we prefer? I like both. Yeah, I like both too. Okay, so you know what? With that out of the way, let's get started. Let's start the campaign. Demon boss mode. I'm oh, sorry, demon king mode. No audio delays, uh, right, guys? Please let me know if there are any audio delays. Oh yeah, his boss are attack. Let's try his boss are attack. Right, this is boss are attack. It's a different boss are attack compared to his boss are one and two. Uh, this is the same boss are attack that he had in boss are three. You're good. Thank you, random black guy. <laughs> Sleep attack. Hello, greatest gamer. Welcome. Yeah, one from one Capcom fanboy to another. One takeaway I have with Nobunaga is that his Muso, uh, yeah, his Basar attack may look like in, uh, like may look crazy, but this Basar attack has very short range. Hello, Ali, welcome. Got done editing thumbnail and time stamping podcast. Nice. Yare yare. Damn ninjas. Been here and I'm going to sleep. Alright. Greatest gamer. Don't force yourself, by the way. This character makes me nostalgic. Uh huh. <coughs> Bang, bang. <laughs> <coughs> Might just do a versus man, no one versus Muzan. I don't know. Last game. Hmm? you? Ma Kikanaktemo. Suguni Wakarutu Mokalame. <coughs> 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 
Uh, I, I'm not breaking down Katsui, but goddamn, this character is absolutely insane. Probably he's my favorite Seiwasa for newcomer. Dude is a combo machine. <laughs> He's broken? Oh, absolutely. I, I like Katsuhi too. I used it a lot when I was a bocha. あんたは負けちゃダメなんだ。よし。俺は今日もちょっと離れたところで応援と行くぜ。なんだこっ消えた。どこ行った出てこい。<laughs> I actually call Katsui the helicopter man. Helicopter, helicopter, is he? Wait, uh, well, I, one of his specials I really like. <laughs> he just goes full helicopter. Yeah, Sasuke was playable in Basar before Koei, uh, Koei thought it out. I mean, consider Koei has Kunoichi. <laughs> also, his voice actor voiced Bakugo. I'm talking about Katsui. His voice actor voiced Bakugo in My Hero Academia. Hey, Sher, welcome. Yeah, I said helicopter. Yeah, because Katsuhi is here. Katsuhi, the helicopter man. Easily my favorite newcomer in Basada 4. Love his effects, yeah. And I love his color. I, I mean, my favorite color is green. Yeah, like this, right? You can do this. And the best part is, you can do it in the air. Yeah, he can... Uh, wait, uh, let's try that again. He can do a fast motion with this. Oops. Let me try that again. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter, you see? Helicopter, new character, yes. Shibata Katsuye. Shibata Airlines is looking nice. All right, Nobunaga. Ah, Ina Otora. Otome <laughs> is also one of the more complex characters to uh to play in this game. Uh, let's try uh, Katsuhi's uh, Basar attack. Oh yeah, I already tried it. It's insane. Oh yeah, this Naotora. If you're asking which Naotora 
is better easily Basara. I mean, the Koei Naoto is pure fan service. I mean, she's even appeared in Dead or Alive. Like, I'm sorry, if you're... If you have a female character that appeared in Dead or Alive, your female character is a purely fan service character. Well, most of the times, at least. I mean, I'm not complaining towards uh, fan service characters, don't get me wrong. But Naotara is not, uh, like, somewhere worse, Naotara is not my taste. She's a little bit too fan servicey, if that's even a word. I hit the Koei once, she feels like a different one character in Star Wars. In the spin off titles, Star Wars Chronicles 3. Uh, she's in every story that's becoming uh, annoying to see her. It is what it is. Alright, I'll, I'll use boss mode. <笑><笑><笑><笑> That troop totem ball always made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, try to fight the boss, Yukimura. Ah, Yukimura's theme is absolutely insane. I love his theme. Love that super, yep. The ink fits so well with the design choice, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, nice. Thanks, Katsuye. Oh, 
ことに聞け地下からも者は目に物を見よう<笑>それがその一人にあらず無数の炎と共にあれあれ今こそ燃えよ虎の魂いや、このアタックは、私は、アスレイジ。この席の重さ、片時も忘れはせぬ。いずれの末路とて、末路いいことには変わりなし。見事はこの雪村、マサラケオ、あ、ヒストン。完全世界のいずれにも世を制しうるものはなし<laughs> He just walks to your TV screen menacingly. Norio's voice is the only fan service I need? Absolutely. Like, imagine Nobunaga saying, Hello, Evrynian! Ah, a four way battle. <laughs> Ah, he's your favorite character, Kanmi. Matabe. Masamune. Alright. That's my Hideyoshi. The stage has a lot of good rewards. <laughs> um, let's go full Serpent King. Yeah, I want to have matching outfits, so let's use his uh, Monster Hunter design. For this, uh... Yeah, I'll use this weapon. I know when I watched the anime dubbed Chris Sabbath. Yeah, Chris Sabbath voice Hideyoshi. I forgot who voiced Nobunaga in the uh, English. Oh, hello, Kurokaze Hattori. Welcome. Yo, Osaka Castle. <coughs> Yo, we fight the entire Toyotomi army here. Hideyoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your language. English US, English UK, English Kazuya Nakai. Nakai. Best husband voice, don't at me. Oh, 
誰になんねっつうの野村さんすいません待ってすいませんうさしいアンファイティングサコン。I, I like to joke his name、uh, サコン。サトルシマ。As in like from Gojo Satoru. His voice actor is Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Kinsey! Japanish, best class of English. Yeah, suck, suck one again. One of the more complex characters to play as. <laughs> this outfit and this weapon looks cool on Katsuye. <laughs> ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
秀吉様が巨匠の番犬となる許可をいいよけれどくれぐれも超えすぎないよねいつなりすでに許可はいただいている英語に使え続ける許可をシードの雲よ日を隠せこの心に刺す明るみを一つ残らず消滅しろ日は沈み月も沈みやがて未来が訪れるその中で暮らす人の子などお構いなしなんと<笑>凄まじいの一言ですな。さかつかぜとて切り伏せるのみだ。ひでよしさまのように Hey, he's running away. Catch him. Damn, why he runs fast? <laughs> You're not running away from me, Mitsunari. Doing jump running and it's the fasting、uh, fastest way. I have spent I see speed runners a bit faster two and three. I didn't know there were speed runners for Basra. I'm not going to be able to do it. 
てくれ<笑>拙者最後の相手としてはそこなしよ<笑>あの場合の一番より見事ものにしてみせい負けぞうがいいむずぞう一撃必殺まさに効果は抜群ですな世に差し向けよ優雅をだがを今日の無駄を架け橋とするよ行くたびかしで<笑>豊臣の軍に勝る者だとなっわっちまった剣族が席ここに果たせい Okay, we got all the bases. Hideyoshi is waiting. Zetai Naru Chikara wa asoko ni aru. Zanen da ne. Kimi ga tadori tsuku koto wa nai yo. Kono boku ga iru kagiri ne. Yeah, we have to fight Hanbei first. Koko kara saki wa boku ga tsukse tsuki ni no chikara wo tame sase te mora u yo. Apologies. Jikan wa mada aru. Mina no mono. ペガスと共にこの地に骨をさらそうぞ Excuse me I need to drink water after this. Oh, that was fast. Alright, Hideyoshi is left. Get ready. We're gonna fight Sengoku no Kendo. The Basara's version of Raul from Fist of the North Star. Yeah, he is Raul from Vince the Lower Star. Let's see who's the true ruler of this wrath of this land. <coughs> Oh, 
<laughs> ah, I got all the weapons. しかのすけ。待ってください。おやさん。ねえ、おやさん。春様はどうして<笑><笑> <笑>これも我らの生き様だ。僕側家康、何やら決心を固めた。信長様の気に当てられ、ここのが。オレ。ウルウィハウ。家康。私に愛を向けられるのです。オレ、レッツファイト家康。<笑><笑> さものを導くところ、例の他なく味気なし。なさそうなパンツ。確かにどこもかしこもなさけない。まるでかつての活意へ。そうですね。信長子。なればこその貴様よ。ほんのわずかなりと制するスイカを思い起こさせる。いついつまでも手合わせとざれ込みましょう。あなたとこうして刃を交えるのもいつぶりか。I just want to have a different description. <coughs> That's more like it. Uh, let's change this outfit first. Um, I want to go back to his base outfit. Same uh, for Toshiye. Uh, not Toshiye, Katsuye. Um, 
I'll have this outfit. Uh, weapon. Uh, <coughs> I'm not a big fan of the rest of the designs for Katsui, honestly. It's a little bit over. Let's use that. I'll be right back. I need to take some water. I'm back with a bottle of water. So let's get started. Look out, Yasu. Hmm. Yeah, battle of Komakinagakute. I like this sword design, it reminds me a lot of Onimusha, which is a shame by the way. Uh, Nobunaga should have had, uh, they should have put Onimusha outfits in this game. Nobunaga's Oni, I would love to see Basa Nobunaga with uh, Onimusha Nobunaga's outfit. <coughs> yeah, yeah, お前は人知れず無理を仕過ぎなんだ。頼むからそれ以上、わしを心配させないでくれ。誰からも人を求められる。そんな自分に至るまで押しぬところを探る。<笑> Gundam Tarakatsu. Tarakatsu. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we need to block his power supply. That's the gimmick of this mission. Oh, 
Uh, hello, uh, Poppet. Welcome. Wait, I heard most Japanese have a love-hate relation with Nobuna Oda Nobunaga. His method is extreme, but he did make the war shorter and you know fight uh, United Japan. Yeah. Yeah, Nobunaga is a very controversial figure. He's called the Demon King for a reason. Speaking of controversial um, figure, uh, I've heard. Okay, I've heard talks uh, from in the Koei community or the Musa community where. They said Samurai Warriors should have a should have a, should include the Korean campaign from you know Hideyoshi's Korean campaign, and upon further research, I don't think they will ever do that. And I, I give my reasons why. Let me take this base first, because I I kind of want to talk about this a little bit. The Imjin War, yeah, exactly. I feel like that's something. I don't think Koei would ever cover in Samurai Warriors. Especially in a game like Samurai Warriors. Alright. Uh, bad Juju? Yeah, okay. So, I wanted to talk about this as well, because I keep hearing people, and I, I keep hearing uh, comments in my Warriors videos, where we say, oh, Summer Warriors should add uh, the Imjin War, should add uh, the Toyotomi's campaign in Korea, because it's part of history. It's, it makes the game more interesting. I don't think it adds anything. Now, per in my personal take, I don't think it adds anything towards Summer Warriors, the like the the Korean campaign of Hideyoshi. It's uh, to me, it's just I, I, like it's a different story, but I don't really consider that as like, oh yeah, I want to see that in Summer Warriors. Now, one of the reasons why I don't think Koei or Summer Warriors, like Summer Warriors, Basra, or any kind of you know, uh, the uh, I'm talking Summer Warriors uh, pers uh, personally. Why I don't think Summer Warriors, uh, I, I think Summer Warriors is not is not going to cover that in their game because the if you guys know a little bit about history and a little bit about the political relationship between um japan and south korea it's kind of rough right now we all know the relationship between north korea and south korea north korea and japan but not a lot of people understand that even japan and south korea has what's the word i'm looking here for has a bit of bad blood now if you're as old as me right I, I i was born in the 90s i was born in 93 i grew up in the 90s and i was exposed to 90s to early 2000 media now i don't know a lot of you uh a lot of you experienced this but during the 90s all right during the 90s a lot of japanese games were censored in south korea Especially though, especially games where they depict samurai characters or samurai figures. I give an example. Uh, how many of you have played Soul Blade? And the first Soul Calibur, like before there was Soul Calibur, there was Soul Blade. How many of you have played uh, those games? Now, if you know a little history about Soul Blade, uh, one of the characters is a samurai. Right? In Soul Calibur, it's Mitsurugi. Now, when the first game Soul Blade came out. The, uh, the game was released in Korea for the arcades under one condition, Mitsurugi must be removed because during the 90s, uh, any depiction or any like any depiction of samurai in Japanese media that were distributed in South Korea must not be must be banned or must be changed in order for those Japanese media to be uh, to be airing in South Korea. So what they what Soul Blade did is that. They switched Mitsurugi into a South Korean character, Huang, right? Uh, so in the South, the arc, in the arcade version of Soul Blade in South Korea, you don't have Mitsurugi, you have Huang. 
Now, uh, when Soul Blade was released worldwide uh, for the PS1, you have both Mitsuri and Huang. And when you play both Mitsuri and Huang, you'll notice that these two characters, in terms of moveset, are identical to one another. They're basically clones. That's because Huang was there to replace Mitsurugi for the South Korean version because they cannot have a samurai, uh, like an actual Japanese samurai, uh, an actual Japanese samurai, uh, an actual Japanese samurai in uh, in Korean media. They cannot have that, and that went as well. And uh, that went uh, in the first Soul Calibur game. It happened. It, something happened that like that as well. Now. But it's a little bit more tame. Now, Mitsurugi was not completely censored in the in the Korean version of the first Soul Calibur game for the arcades. Mitsurugi was replaced by a character named Arthur. So he's still a samurai, but he's a Westerner dressing up as a samurai. He is a he's basically like a, what's his name? William Adams, right? He's a so it's Mitsurugi with his hair blonde and an eye patch. You got Arthur, and then in Soul Calibur 3, you got Arthur and Mitsurugi. Now, in terms of censorship for uh, Japanese... Now, why is samurai figures being censored in South Korea? Two reasons. Uh, samurai in South Korea was considered a war criminal there. It, first, during the Imjin War, during Hideyoshi's campaign in Korea, and second, during World War II. Uh, was it World War I or World War II? Basically, during the World War where Korea was being uh, colonialized, colonialized by Japan, and samurai, like samurai figures, were considered uh, horror. You know, it was considered a, a war criminal by uh, Koreans, both uh, the South and North, because back then we don't have South and North Korea; we just have Korea. And even in South Korea, like even in South Korea, uh, although like after the 2000s, the, the censorship for Samurai figures was a lot more tame there. Uh, it's a little bit more acceptable, but it still has their limits now Just think of it this way Imagine if Koei a Japanese company uh, You know how Samurai Warriors work, right? You basically play a Samurai or a player character and then kill as many officers on screen as possible That's how Musou games work. Like, if it's Samurai Warriors, then it's uh, a Samurai character. Now imagine that um, Playing a, samur a Japanese company creating a game where a Samurai where you play as a samurai killing multiple Koreans during the Imjin War while Hideyoshi is shouting about justice and righteousness and creating peace, that would not sit well with South Korea, with Koreans in general, whether it's South or North. And not to mention, during the Imjin War, uh, from what I've read, during the Imjin War, the first battle, one of the, or one of the first battles during uh, that uh, conquest was the Battle of Pyongyang. Yeah, just 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 imagine that Koei making a uh, Koei making a Samurai Warriors game where you have the battle called the Battle of Pyongyang, and you play as a Toyotomi samurai massacring multiple Korean army in Pyongyang. Yeah, I don't think uh, yeah uh, a certain Mr. Kim is not gonna be happy with that. Uh, that's why, like um, a lot of people will say, "Oh, are you uh, like here's the thing." Back then, uh, if you ask Profar five years ago. Or like pro far five to ten years ago, he might have want to see a Korean campaign in uh, Summer Wars. But now you ask pro far now, considering I have a lot more you know information and I kind of like do a lot of you know retrospective research of older games, like older games and how a lot of these older games were censored in different version. I don't want to see like or like I don't think Koei is ever going to cover the Korean campaign in some warriors because of that reason alone like um although Japan and South Korea's relationship is a lot better than it used to be back in the day but there are still limits in regards to uh, uh there are still bad blood in regards to their relationship so in short I don't think Koei is going to risk you know ruining the relationship between Japan and South Korea over Samurai warriors depicting the engine war that's my take. <sighs> because uh, realistically, when you um, when we look at uh, game developers, and also hello, uh, Bubs. Realistically, when we look at the uh, game developers doing what they do or like making certain decisions, we gotta we gotta understand. Uh, we gotta take a look from their perspective and other perspective as well. 
a lot of gamers online that I noticed as well. And again, I was guilty in that part when I was, you know, when I was a lot younger. Uh, I only see things from the perspective of gamers from what we want. And I feel like that's just such an entitlement mentality. Uh, if, if, if we just, like, at the end of the day, we're just, uh, you know, we're just buying these games and enjoying uh, these games from the comfort of our home. But we don't think about the the things behind the youngster guilt. <laughs> yeah, we don't think the things behind the scenes. And then, like, considering I, you know, I, I grew older, I get more information and I talk to other people. Uh, I took, I have discussion with other people and those things kind of hit with me. Same thing uh, I tell people when they change stuff in Fire Emblem games. Uh huh. So that's my take on why <laughs> Summer Wars is not going to uh, cover the Imjin War. It's it's a sensitive topic towards uh, between. Uh, it's a sensitive topic uh, in regards to the relationship between Japan and Korea. And I only noticed this because uh, I remember the things back in the 90s with uh, Soul Blade and Soul Calibur. Oh yeah, I was like, oh yeah, I, I kind of remembered um, Samurais were censored in South Korea. And I looked at it, why it was censored, and then a lot, and like, upon further reading, it all makes sense. Which, which then came, uh, I came to the conclusion that Injin One is never gonna be covered in Samurai Warriors. Hello, Tadio, welcome. I know a lot of it thanks to your grandpa. Nice. Oh, I see. That's why some Uso games like Summer Wars doesn't have Invasion of Korea Stitch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and again, I, I think... Uh, and here's the thing. Summer Warriors is allowed to... Summer Wars Warriors were distributed in Korea. Again, the... Um, the depiction of samurai characters in South Korea is a little bit ta like what they uh, they're allowed to depict samurai wars, but only like of course there are uh, was it there are limits to how they can depict like uh, you get what I'm saying like you cannot have a uh, you cannot have a samurai character killing multiple Korean soldiers and then screaming about justice, righteousness, peace, freedom, and so on. That would not sit well with Korea. Like I said, uh, Koei will. I don't. I don't think Koei would risk offending Koreans or um, would risk ruining the relationship between Jap Japan and Korea just because they want to put the Imjin War in Summer Warriors. I'm including myself. Nobunaga looks cool in this game. Oh, absolutely. He looks like a Devil May Cry boss. I mean, there are media depicting the Imjin War, but it was done very carefully, you could say. There is a movie uh, about the Imjin War. I forgot the name because someone showed it to me. But again, it's a movie where uh, certain figures must be depicted rather carefully. It's not a game where you slaughter a lot of Koreans and then scream justice in, on top of your lungs. ま、<笑> <laughs> Nobunaga is basically the boss, the final boss in the first boss of the game. The big villain. Oh, 
a lot of Call of Duty games remove Hitler because, let's face it, we all want a piece of killing the bad guy, but it's sensitive topics. Yeah, exactly. Bang, bang, oh, got him Tarakasu. Even with his power supplies gone, he's still a tough motherfucker. That Basar attack is insanely deadly. Tanakatsu is in every game, by the way, can't be. So far, there are four characters that are always playable in Sekou Basara. Masabune, Yukimura, Nobunaga, and Tarakatsu. They are always playable in every single Basara game. Dropping to leave a like. Hello, Brandon. Welcome. You're at work, right? I uh, hope you have a fine day at work. Unlike me, I have a nasty cold. But still. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> 
Okay, no, I, I don't get link guns. Okay, so now let's go to uh, Yasu himself. Right, uh, guys, no audio delays, right? Just want to make sure. Are there any audio delays? Because audio delay sucks. Da, da, da. Uh, all right, Yasu. Fist of Eastern Japan. Yeah, I said uh, Ra uh, Grana Rao. I said Hideyoshi is Rao. That makes it Yasu Kenshiro. So fine, okay. May my fist unite all. これは <laughs> this is a beautiful looking cliff. I can see the battles from here. Oh yeah, I, I got a perfect 1000 KO. I didn't realize that, Mura. Yeah, nobody got just laughed. Getting a thousand KOs. Yeah, the sky is burning red, Nobunaga. Shihiro. Crypt <coughs> Grandpa. And Maguichi. Ah, we unlocked the drama route. Now, Nobunaga does not have an anime route. Alright, let's fight badass Morochika. Let's be an angel this time. Or... Yeah, let's use this. Yeah. <coughs> let's use the angel outfit for Nobunaga. And use the gold weapon, because I feel like the gold weapon suits this outfit. For him... Uh, we'll use this one. Ah, the gold doesn't fit. I don't like this out uh, weapon. Uh, I'll, ju I'll just use the double axe. Hmm. 
Katsui colors look like a Gundam. Oh, he does. He does look like the original RX-78 Gundam. <laughs> yeah, DMC for Nobunaga. <laughs> yeah, let's enter the secret uh the secret location. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, an endurance stage. 300 KOs. Final boss mode? Ugh. Ugh. Fear the power of Angelo Nobunaga. Is Maguichi one of those characters that gender was never explained? Because I was confused why they made Maguichi a lady in Basa while Samurai is his male. Well, the thing with Maguichi is that Maguichi is a title, not a name. Now, in the actual history, there are three Maguichi exists. Three Saika Maguichis. All of them are male. So the first Magoichi was the Magoichi who was a mercenary and uh, was hired to, like, he was hired by a lot of anti-Oda collision. Basically, Summer Wars won Magoichi. The second Magoichi was the more popular Magoichi. It's the Magoichi where his village was burned down by Nobunaga. Summer Wars 2 Magoichi. The, th the third Magoichi is the Magoichi who served the Date. Now, that's Summer Wars 3 Maguichi, and then in Summer Wars 4, you have all three Maguichis combined. So like Robin Hood, yeah, it's a title, not a, like, it's a title, not a, uh, not an actual name. Because, you know, so, as I said in my retrospective video of Basara, Capcom took whatever historical lore they have and then amp it up to a hundred, uh, in terms of the crazy over-the-top level. Like, in terms of the craziness and over-the-top. So they, Capcom was like, okay, because Magoichi is not a real name, it's a title. What if Magoichi was a woman? And uh, therefore, we have a female Magoichi. Oh yeah, her name in this game. Okay, so the thing with uh, uh, the thing with uh, Magoichi in history, his family name is Suzuki. So Suzuki Sadayu. Uh, there are like there are three Magoichis, and they were all family. So. The first one was the father, the second one was the eldest son, and then the third one was the youngest son. So, their sure name is actually Suzuki. Now, in this game, it's Sayaka. Now, I have a theory why Magoichi was named Sayaka in this game. She's named Sayaka. Uh, she was named after her voice actor, Ohara Sayaka. I think that's why she's named Sayaka in this game. Because of the voice actor. Uh, where is... there's uh, one more. Didn't know that. Also, Maguichi's voice actor voice uh, the best girl in fairy tale, Erza. <laughs> yeah, 
It is the basic Easter Easter uh, Easter egg and interesting fact. Uh huh. So every character, like I said, every character in Sengoku Basara is a play of their actual historical lore. Like, let's take whatever historical lore they have and then twist it in our own spin. Ah, platforming in Sengoku Basara, not the best thing. Yeah, unless you can fly like uh, a Senorikyu or the ninja characters. You know what? Screw this. I I'm not doing this. Ah, uh, uh, this is just this is just a waste of time. I'm just going uh, through this line or through this path. Also in Sengoku Basara 2 or 3, where some officers of Hojo clan mentioned Ujiyasu-sama, who the leader of the Hojo and character of Sama were still earlier. Yeah, I noticed that. I mean, one of the uh, Hojo soldiers said, We serve, we don't serve Ujiyasu, we serve Ujimasa. Ujiasu is OP. I like Ujiasu. I mean, Summer Wars 4 is more OP because of the hyper attacks. ガオ以外はな。感じる。我が身がものものへと変わっていくの。とんでもねえもんが釣れる。そんな予感がビンビンだぜ。<笑> Special is useful too, always uh, grants element when used. Uh huh. 
Yeah, gun fight. Let's make this quick. Oh, Maguichi easily has one of my favorite themes in the game. Morinjika always have gimmick boss fights in uh, Basara. Uh, make a battle. <laughs> yeah, eighty eighty. Well, this uh, his boss are one and two. Uh, Mecca was an eighty eighty. This one is more like a Spider Walker. Yeah, uh, Moto Chica has a three phase boss fight in this game. Go away, he's going to do an ultimate beam attack. See? 
準備が整いやす四国中の力お前に預けるぜシャッキマル<笑>なあ、俺がフェイスモードチーカイムセル。おかにふくかぜなんだ、かんけり。なみは。あらしは。おれがおこしてやるのさ。ひゃくのおり。よそのおさが。ひゃくのきずをきずんでやる。<笑>兄貴この鬼にも勝手に交わした契約ってもんがあってよさよなお前への借りは今ここで返す鬼風情が物を思い挑むかそうせいじゃせいてんせいがいぶあいでんへでむ You gotta bounce, it's been fun. Alright, l Kambay, thanks for dropping by. I'll see you later. That takes care of Morochika. I just noticed、uh, in this outfit, Nobunaga's eyes color are different. It's blue instead of red. Nobunaga Sama, he has to h o l n up me. I don't care. Oh, it's the Mori. Who's this? Can't be. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's fight Motonari this time. It's the same stage as Motochika, but this time it's in the air. Instead of,、uh, instead, of a, instead of an ocean ship, this is an airship. Let's, get, let's go back to the base. Design. 
その他いずれも問わずにな承知いたしました魔王様ひそよを恐れよ世は第六天魔王なり<笑>モトライスエアシップあの男より奪いし者我が有益に使うは道理天空日輪よ飛翔しこの国を支配せよ Yeah, he still has those solar panels, or whatever they are, basically, he's using the power of the sun. Right. 
私たちのごとき安さを踏みにじられるためにある日の本は秋となるその礎の駒となる天よこの天空日輪を結びたもう輝き切り注げ光の加護誰かの手駒で収まる元成様ではないそれがそれは分かる<笑>秘密一つも返せるもの物は畜生に劣るぞ今下したこれが物らに向けず手だれとなる万丈な駒のしたたかさ思い知るがいい<笑>差し違えることもできぬとは。所詮は捨て駒我が策にほころびなし Let's dance, 元成幾百の時を経てもなお滅びぬ国そこへ導きうるはただ一人このアマテラスの巫女のみよ一輪よ絶大なる加護を I accidentally skipped that. Joka Seo Kisama was both at Stucker. Yamu in. Yeah, he has the solar the player mirror weapon. Second phase boss. Tsugi no saku ni utsuru made. Warera mori ni hamukau wa. It's a time based boss fight. Yumi to dogi de aru. Kono yona dance. Kusama ni kureti wa. Mono domo. Dorukuro o hakai se yo. This is get this can be really annoying. But luckily he's weaker. Uh, if you hear any noises, that's just a motorbike passing by in front in our front yard. Or in our front street. There you go. <laughs> right, one final stage to finish the normal route, then we go to the drama route.
We're fighting Yoshihiro in the finale? Okay. Interesting final stage. Yoshihiro is the final boss for the normal route. I mean, normal route uh, stages are RNG anyways. Alright, let's change music. <laughs> I'm gonna find the Azuchi castle theme. Or instead of the Azuchi uh, uh, theme, let's go with the Kyushu theme in the for the first game. Because I like that theme. Hector Ball. Uh, where's the uh, Kyushu theme? South. South Point Subjugation. Oh, this is Boss Rat 2. Uh, okay, uh, Basara, yeah, Azuchi, uh, castle theme in Basara 2, let's see. I think this is it, let me hear it first. Yeah, let's go with this one, oops. Battle of Satsuma. Let's make this quick. Hey! 
ここに落とせ私は誰だ貴様に合わせる顔がねえ薩摩隼人は虎に勝って一人前よおまはんらも試すとよかそれなど少しばかりいかつい猫だと思えばよいのだ始末様の戦べたにはもうついていけないよ情けなきゃおまはんらの臆病を棚にあげるんじゃなかこの戦どうせ負けたって逃げるのかしよ今のうちに行く後ろ傷が不明よまあ普通はそうであろうないつどこに浮いてでも悲願の傾きこれあるのみぞどうしたまだまだ倒れんぞその手で言ってくだされば私が処理しましたのに<笑>次元の技呪いだろうとなんだろうと別に構わんさ闇に身を委ね飲まれよ<笑>マルメにも遠く及ばぬ歯ごたえずこんなすげえやつがいるって誰も信じてくれねえよなまた苛立っておられますねなだめるのに骨が折れそうだ<笑><笑>せば増すほど愚くそばる、うんうん Alright, let's go straight to Yoshihiro. Bring it on, Yoshihiro.
I'm for his normal ending. Mohaya Kono Getenni, Yoga says the Becky to Kurumunashi. Doku Mademo Fugai Naki Mono Doga Naraba is an Anatanga Orita to you. Yokai Nado Ikana de Show. Hito Narazaru Aki Nareba. あ、<笑> That was something. Okay, uh, time for his uh, drama route. Before we call out at night, let's finish his drama route. Drama route. these parts let's 
turn off the music. Oh, good rewards. ドラマラウ。よろしいのですか、信長様。うん。あ、もし。We're starting with uh, Shogun Ashikaga. A duel with the big man himself. よし。貴様ごときの さあ、<笑> ゲテン最強と言えるだろう。<笑> Wow, that was dangerous. He was so good for a reason. その方を見たせる者はその方自身のみと思ったが。いらぬ世話だったようだな。くだらぬお時を語る前に。全然思ってよう。見たつい。いいよ。いいよ。せするよ。おふる方のみを求めし。合わせ。定めの that counter move is insane.
He's the final boss for me. Oh, shit. Nobunaga, wake up. Ah, finally. That was that was tough. Fight me, CD. It's a jewel stage. Okay, this time we're gonna use the ultimate weapon because it's uh, one of the two fight. Oops! I almost get rid of that weapon. ならぬ時の軸にてきっとあなたをお待ちしております。
time for the final stage. It's a three-way match between Nobunaga, Mitsuhide, and another Nobunaga. I, I still don't understand this ending, honestly. Like, did Nobunaga travel back in time or something? Um, let's go level 990 so that we have to make sure that during this stage uh, both Nobunaga and Katsuya are maxed. Uh, this is Honoji. Okay, welcome. Yeah, I'm in the final stage. There's one final stage before I end the stream. This is probably the most confusing part of uh, Nobunaga's drama story. Like, did he travel back in time or was there a fake Nobunaga? But whatever it is, I'm finishing this.
Okay, time to fight this fake Nobunaga and Mitsuhide in one final epic showdown. の名を呼んでください。さあ。知らぬな。ああ。ああ。うん。別なる時の 少し世の方もするか恐れなきものよ怪誕の義を恥ずかしむるか世の掃除とて読みしがたし様もまた湯であるならば諦めあなたが本物です私と共に天を行くあの信長公なのです。And to finish this with a Giga Basara. <laughs> 
There can only be one, Nobunaga. <laughs> Hello Aldi. Yeah, we're just done. That's a scythe. Alright, so both of them are maxed. Okay, let's sell some weapons first. Before we end the stream. Yeah, oh, look, no, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's enough for tonight. We finished Nobunaga's uh, campaign, the entirety, normal and drama route. He doesn't have any anime route. Like I said, only nine characters in this game has an anime route. So yeah, we're done with uh, uh, we're done with Nobunaga. Next stream will be Shingen. I'm just gonna give you out there. So again, if you guys enjoyed the stream, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to this channel, it's absolutely free. If you want to hang out with us in the community, Discord server is open. Link to the Discord server is in the description below. I'm working on a Panzer Bandit video, so expect that uh, sooner uh, in this channel because I've been procrastinating that project for quite a while. Like I said, I'm working on Panzer Bandit, then I will have another retrospective video before we actually get to covering single Basar 2 and Basar 2 heroes so look forward to that until then ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching have a good evening have a good night have a good morning afternoon wherever you are and i'll see you guys next time